Hi everybody and welcome to the second um, edition video for um, our second Be Teacher Feature Friday. Um, so in the last video I sort of showed you, I showed you Net Vibes, which is more of a dashboard type of RSS feed where you can have different dashboards and you can have these things called widgets and you can still bring in your RSS feeds and so that's one way to do it. Um, but sometimes people just want to use their browser and have just click up on their browser, be able to quickly look at the latest feeds and then move on. Um, and, and that's one of the things that I do like to do. So given that um, Chrome browser is one of the best browsers out there, um, they have some really great extensions. So you can actually add a little icon right to your web browser that, so that you can quickly check in on your RSS feeds. So instead of having a whole other tab where your, where your, where your dashboard sits. So let's explore how that works. So here we are. Um, many as you know is when you create a new tab in um, Google Chrome that you either get your last visited sites or if you toggle over you can go directly to the Chrome Web Store. Now you can also just Google the Chrome Web Store, whatever is easiest for you. So I just started typing in RSS feed when I was first looking for just an icon driven um, RSS feed reader to place on my uh, Google Chrome bar. And so this is your Google, this is sort of your Google Chrome bar. So this is one that I really, really like quite a bit. So I want to go ahead and say yes, I want to add it. And you say yes. And what you'll see is magically right here is now a little icon that will sit there every time you open up your Google Chrome browser. Now this little message is basically telling you the next thing I'm going to show you is that you have to manage this RSS feed reader through your um, settings in your Google Chrome. So I'm going to close that window and show you how that works. So you want to go to your little wrench right here on your Google Chrome bar and you're going to go to tools and you're going to go to extensions because that's what this is. This is an extension. We're extending your Google Chrome bar. So there it is and in order to add RSS feeds to it you have to go to options. So obviously it's blank. Now one of the reasons that this one's a little more complicated than perhaps just a dashboard driven one like in the other video I showed that it was very easy just to sort of search and find the new a new feed. Well, this one doesn't quite offer that to you. You kind of have to know the RSS feed URL in order to get it to come in here. But that's not really that hard. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing you're going to do is first go to the place that you the the, the place that the blog or whatever it is that you want to bring into your feed. So we've been here before. Here's the teacher, the nerdy teacher, and again it works sort of the same way. You're going to look for that RSS feed icon, but you're just going to click add them in this case. And usually what will happen is it'll kind of come to this kind of strange looking page. And the trick is, is that this URL is not going to work as an RSS feeder. You need to get the XML feed. And so that's this guy right here. So you just click that button down there. Let me back that up so let me show you that one more time. You're going to click here. You want to view the XML. You want to grab that code right there. We're going to go over to our new extension and we're going to put that URL. I'm going to paste that URL right there and there it is. Now let me show you how this works. So here we are where we're managing. I went to my toolbar, I went to tools, and then I went to this option. But let me show you how this kind of works. So let me close this window and then what will happen is now if I click on here there's the nerdy teacher and here are all the latest posts. So that's how you could quickly go and look at what nerdy teacher is posting. But let's add another one. Let's go to Edutopia for one. Because um, Edutopia is a good one but it's a little complicated so let's just go and find that RSS feed icon which is right there. I'm going to click on that. I'm again click on this Edutopia and it's going to say it's going to take me outside of the site and I'm going to say okay and again we want that view feed XML. You click that, you get this URL here. I'm going to go back to our extensions. We're going to go to options. Remember, you just go to your tool, go to tools, go to, whoops, go to, sorry, tools, extensions. It's going to bring the same page up. You're going to go to options of your RSS feed reader. We're going to add a new feed. We're going to paste that URL right there. And now you can see it's there. Let me close this window. Let me close this window. Let me close that window. Let's close that. 
And then let's take a look at how this looks now. So we click on that icon and now you can see that both of those feeds are now here. So now I can toggle to Edutopia, again look at all the different posts, and then go back if I wanted to take a look at the nerdy teacher. Okay, so that is a quick and down and dirty way of how you actually use a, a, an extension in your Chrome browser with so one click, one icon, you can quickly cruise through all of the great innovations, best practices that are out there on the web on your journey to becoming a highly connected educator. See you next time.